God rewards those who seek Him. As a reminder, in the last devotional video we had, we learned that what we do right now is the basis of what God will judge us on for all of eternity. What do we do? Well, we talk, we say words. We also have action and we have thoughts. Now those are the things that Paul is explaining in verse 6. He will render to each one according to his works. God, he will judge each person according to what he does here on earth. Now in verse 7, Paul, he will explain to us exactly what this means for the Christian. To those who by patience and well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, he will give eternal life. Sometimes we do the right thing, good things, for other people, and that requires a lot of patience. It requires a lot of time, too. You know, we have a verse that explains that patience is a fruit of the Spirit. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Why does Paul instruct us to do good things? Why? Well, let's take another look at verse 7. To those who by patience and well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, he will give eternal life. In verse 7, it says seek. It means goal. It doesn't mean like you're looking for something. No, it means a goal. Well, what's the goal for? Well, for three things. Glory, honor, and immortality. Immortality meaning eternal life. Glory, honor, immortality, what are those things? God. God is our goal. The only right goal for the Christian life is God. God, he bestows on every individual, all of us who are in Christ, who have him as a goal to honor with our words, our actions, the things we think in our everyday life. God wants to bestow something on us. What is it? Let's look. He will give eternal life. God, He bestows on each one of us eternal life with our great God Himself. Wow, it's worth it for us to endure in patience with other people, loving God and loving others. Pray to God to give you the patience that you need to endure with others. Remember that our life here on earth is so brief. We often think that we have a rough life here, pain and frustration and suffering for a long time. Really, it's very brief compared to eternity. That's forever. For this light momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. Remember that suffering will end. Eternity, it will never end. Don't give up. Persevere in your suffering for the Lord and for others. You know, maybe some of you, this is the first time you've looked at one of my devotions in a little while and you're thinking, well, well what? You mean God's judging what, we, what we're doing? our sins? Well, which is it? Because, well, I thought that salvation was through grace alone. Yes, clearly it is. What we do, 
what we think, we say, God looks at and he is pleased. Why? Because we're in Christ. And without faith, it is impossible to please him. For whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. Others who do not have faith in Christ, they do good things. Sometimes they do better things than we who are in Christ. Does it God look at them? Is he pleased? No, because they're not in Christ. That's the reason. Corn deal.